I developed this plan years ago when I was in private practice. I had so many people that were coming in after way too much holiday cheer, feeling heavy, feeling lethargic, just feeling uncomfortable in their clothing. This plan is hugely effective and you don't feel deprived. Unlike restrictive juice cleanses, this will keep you feeling full and energized. This is a perfect jump start for any new beginning, whether you're looking to eat healthier or lose some weight. You can enjoy an amazing breakfast that is busting with protein, a voluminous lunch that is loaded with colorful vegetables and fiber, and a dinner that will knock your socks off. Get your head in the game with three simple rules. First, get up and exercise. 30 minutes of anything you wanna do. You can take a walk, you can dance, you can march in place. Two. Drink two cups of water before each and every meal. And three, nix the starchy carbs. No bread, no pasta, no rice, no potatoes. Giving them the boot for a day or two is a good idea if you want to reset. I love the combination of one whole egg and multiple egg whites. There's a lot of goodness in the yolk, but the yolk also drives up the calories. So this combination keeps the calories low and the protein high. An orange is the perfect complement. It's sweet and juicy in the morning, plus it's busting with immune-boosting vitamin C. I encourage you to eat your fruit versus drinking your fruit. The orange has fiber compared to the juice, and it's also half the calories. Non-starchy vegetables are comprised of water and fiber, and that is the perfect combination when you're looking to detox. The more, the merrier. Broccoli has calcium, which is great for muscle contraction. Carrots have beta carotene, which is wonderful for a gorgeous complexion. There's anti-inflammatory compounds in mushrooms, so the more, the better. Lycopene is a potent antioxidant that's in tomatoes that is good for your entire body, especially your skin. And then there are the cucumbers. So cucumbers are naturally low in sodium and they're high in potassium, which means that it helps to flush out excess water, AKA bloat. And of course, a salad becomes a meal when you add on protein. It can be fish, it can be turkey, eater's choice. But make sure that you get that protein on there because it's gonna help to keep you feeling full. And don't forget to add in a sprinkling of one of these superfoods. Black beans, chickpeas, cooked lentils, or one of my favorites, edamame. All of this in one salad truly turns it into one delicious and filling power meal. The biggest mistake by a landslide that people make when it comes to salad is pouring on the dressing. And watch out for extras. Cheese, croutons, dried fruit, not on this salad. Just keep it simple and stick to the veggies. When it comes to snacks, you really want to think ahead because we all fall into that 3 p.m. slump. And if you don't have something ready to go, you're going to start grabbing and get yourself into trouble. I love the idea of a fiber-rich piece of fruit with a lot of chew factor. It takes a while to eat. Feel free to swap the apple for any other piece of fruit. And when it comes to the small handful of nuts, you can go for walnuts or pecans or cashews or peanuts or almonds or pistachios. Eater's choice. The only nut that won't work, chocolate covered. The best part is that the combination of fiber, protein, and healthy fat helps to steady your blood sugar so you feel energized. I originally developed this recipe on a hectic weeknight. I didn't want to fuss in the kitchen for a lot of hours, and I didn't want to clean a lot of separate pans. Personally, I love to toss on cauliflower, broccoli, bell peppers, onions, mushrooms, but the sky is the limit, so you could choose whatever you like. And while I'm using chicken, really all sorts of proteins work. You could swap in salmon or snapper or shrimp or pork tenderloin, even tofu works. Two things to note, go easy on the salt, only because we're detoxing and we don't want to hold on to extra water, and also use an oil mister sparingly because less is more. 
I designed this as a one day plan, but you can certainly do it for a few days or even for a full week. Simply swap out some of the proteins and the vegetables. There are lots of variations. This is something that I do when I'm trying to reset. So many clients throughout the years have had success. It is amazing how much better you can feel in just 24 hours of following this plan. Have the words, I'm gonna start my diet tomorrow, ever left your lips, mm -hmm. or did you ever overindulge over Thanksgiving? You wanna get back on track? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> or maybe you plan to get healthy in the new year. If so, we've got the three top eating plans yes. you might wanna consider. And as you may or may not know, Hoda and I have been trying out intermittent fasting for the past few weeks. But today, nutritionist Joy Bowers here with three <laughs> other ways to get you healthy, the Mediterranean diet, the DASH diet, which I've never heard of, it's and cool keto. Diet. And the keto. Keto. First of all, how are we doing as a country? Because everyone seems to be on diets. Are we losing weight? Sadly, we're not. There was <clears throat> a new poll that just broke, and it showed that we're actually heavier than ever, and there are fewer people that are interested in losing weight. And that's kind of worrisome because we know that carrying around excessive amounts of weight will increase your risk for heart disease and diabetes and obesity and other things. We, we feel like intermittent fat. Fasting is easy. Yes. We're trying it just because it doesn't have a lot of rules and you just stop and, and for, start. I think uh -huh. for our hours, our it also yeah. makes sense. We wake yeah. up and we work, so we're not like, you know, we aren't. We aren't I thinking. don't know how you're doing it, but like kudos. I, there's a lot of interesting research with it, and when it comes to weight loss, because you're limiting the amount of time that you're eating, you're probably taking in fewer yeah. calories, and I bet you're losing weight. But when it comes to overall health, the key with intermittent fasting is making sure when you do have those windows of time that you could eat, that you pick nourishing food. Stuff. That's the yeah. That's what's going to keep you feeling energized yeah. and fabulous and okay. healthy. Everybody wants to go through these diets. The Mediterranean we're going to start with, which seems like universally the best one of all. Mm -hmm. We have oodles of this research. This is how you showing, eat, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Showing that um, the people that live around the Mediterranean uh, live longer and stronger. Mm -hmm. So here's what you are going to eat. You're going to focus on a lot of plant-based foods, vegetables and fruits. There's no surprise. Lots of whole grains, beans, nuts, lentils, legumes. Olive oil is a staple cooking oil, okay. and also they use it in marinades and salad dressing. Loads of water, fish at least twice a week. If you could eat it even more often, great. And hello, cheers, yeah. red wine oh, in moderation. But what I don't see there is carbohydrates, yeah. and sugar. Yeah. Right? So there's no cant on the Mediterranean diet, which I love. It's a celebration yeah. of food, and you just have to be smart about it. So they say to limit sweets, you mm -hmm. want to limit desserts, and you want to limit fatty red meats, okay. for sure. Okay, okay, good. Let's go to the DASH, DASH diet. I've never heard Who's of the DASH. Yeah. The DASH stands for dietary approaches to stop hypertension. So this was specifically formulated to manage and prevent high blood okay. pressure. It's a super smart diet and honestly guys, it is so darn similar to the Mediterranean. So again, loads of fruits and vegetables, whole grains and low fat dairy and the reason being, this is science here, yep. these things have potassium, antioxidants, fiber, magnesium, all of the things that help to manage your blood pressure. Mm. The big difference with DASH is that they go out of their way to lower your salt intake. Oh. So it's a lower sodium plan because okay. salt draws in water, yeah. which increases your blood pressure. So what about for meats and stuff? There's nothing on here. Do no, you, you can absolutely have them, but they downplay them. So smaller portions of all kinds of meat, including chicken and turkey, and also low-fat dairy. Low-fat dairy is totally fine on here because it's rich in calcium, and calcium is actually really good for your blood vessels. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go yeah. to keto. Everybody here is Keto. Been on keto know, we've or, never done keto. No, we yeah. haven't. But. So keto is a very, very low carb plan. So it hugely restricts bread and pasta and rice, even things like fruits and vegetables. And before I go into this diet, I have to say, personally, I'm not an advocate of this plan because it limits so many of the plant-based foods that we know through research enhance our health. Like and it what is like what? Like beans, beans right? Beans and lentils, whole grains, fruits and vegetables fruits are and even veggies. limited. Yeah. So on this plan, and you can have about 20 to 40-ish grams of carb a day, and that could be like an apple. The, oh. An apple is 23 grams of carbs. So if you have an apple and a cup or two of broccoli, that's about that's your all. That's carb. Right. Oh, wow. But, but there are other things. So you, you can, what you can have on here yeah. is um, a lot of fat. So it's a yeah. high fat diet. You can have avocados eggs. and yeah. oils, eggs. You can have moderate amounts of the fatty meats. So you'll see bacon and burgers. So people that 
love all of that sort of high fat yeah. red meat sort of stuff, they like this plant. And I have to say this, I don't want to be a naysayer mm -hmm. because I think that whatever enables yes. people yes. to eat less junk, to lose some weight, to yes. feel good about themselves yes. and comfortable in their to skin. To lower their portion. I am all for. Yeah. So I think different personalities have different plans and yeah. all these things are good.